Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. We're still testing expanded decks, and today we're playing a deck that, um, you know what, is... Uh, <clears throat> it's a deck, it's a deck variant of one that won Japan, won a Japan, major Japan tournament recently, that had like over a thousand players, so that's kind of crazy. And, uh, I'm very excited to show you guys. This is my expanded Buzzwool deck. Obviously, it's a variant. It's not the exact same of what they're played, mainly because, like, right now in Japan, they're X Y onwards, and we're Black and White onwards. So uh, we have a little bit more, a little bit more cards we can play over um, what they can play. But it's it seems in theory, it seems like it does really, really well. So obviously, we have Buzzwell here. We all know Buzzwell does 190 HP Pokemon with Jet Punch, which is, which is its main, um, its main, its main course. Real quick, like you know what, you know what. Um, hello, integrals. <laughs> We got Jet Punch. That's 30 damage plus 30 more damage to the bench. But like the main reason, this is like to skip ahead and like skip ahead everything else. The main reason why this is so cool right now is that you actually have this really cool tech in um, Wide Lens. Wide Lens is actually super dope uh, with Buzzwool and Landers, which I'll talk about in a second, because it means that you can attack the bench for super effective. So damage from attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to is affected by weakness from resistance by your opponent's bench Pokemon. So instead of doing 30 30 to the bench say you're playing a zoroark deck you know something like that uh you can attack the bench zoras for 60 60 60 in the active 60 on the bench because you still hit them for weakness which is actually super dope so um so that's the cool part about this deck you can knock out joltix and stuff like that you can hit pretty big numbers so that's why we're playing buzzwell uh, today we're gonna see if we can snipe some zoroark today because apparently 75 percent of that tournament in japan the, the reason why this one was because 75% of that tournament played Zoark variants, so it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Zoark's no joke, man. Zoark is no joke. We also have a uh, Knuckle Impact, which does 160, but you can't attack during the next turn. And then Absorption GX does you do 40 damage for each of your remaining prize cards. So overall, it's 190 HP Pokemon. It's very strong. Weak to Psychic. There's not too many Psychic attackers now that Zoark's kind of taken over. Uh, Garbodor variants have taken a backseat. For the most part, you'll still probably see them. But in case we do see them, we have a one of Lander CX. Hammerhead does the exact same thing. 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and 30 to the active. So it's the exact same thing as Jet Punch, but you got less HP. But you're weak to water. So, you know, if you're not fighting Greninja, this is a good one, right? And then you got Lance Judgment. You may discard all fighting energy attacks to this Pokemon. If you do this attack, does 70 more damage. So you can hit 150 by discarding uh, by discarding all your fighting energy. Obviously inferior to Lander is, but it's another option. And then everything else we have here is pretty much support, right? We got one Shaman over here uh, for the draw support. We got one Orcorio because Orcorio is always good. I like the Orcorio option over Karen in most decks. I like to be a little bit more op op offensive. Plus, you have a little bit more versatility when you play Orcorio. Um, two Lele's for the supporter support. Supporter support, whatever. <laughs> a 2-2 two -two line of Tropish Garbodor. No Rainbow Energy, so we're only playing the Ability Lock one. Helps a lot in the format. We have two enhanced hammers to get rid of DCEs off of things like Gardevoir so they can't OCO us as easily. We have one Field Blower, it's all we need. We were playing four Max Elixirs because uh, we are playing a hefty nine basic energy count so that we can land those Max Elixirs, get off some more attacks more easily. I am playing over any other support, any other A spec. I am choosing to play Scramble Switch um, just because of how simple this deck is. You really don't need things like um, Dowsing Machine or Computer search, in my opinion. Well, we're gonna try it out because I literally just put the six together. But um, we're gonna try it out because, like, in theory, you don't really need those things. So if you can, if you can, uh, what's it called? If you can uh, switch out the active your damage Pokemon by moving your strong energies onto it, that could be really, really nice. Another card I am considering in this deck is Acerola, uh, but the deck space is super tight. I can't really find a space for it. But Scramble Switch can kind of take the place. It's a Switch card that also lets you move your special energies and stuff like that. We are playing one Super Rod, just to put the Pokemon back. Uh, four Ultra Ball, because Ultra Ball. Four VS Seeker, because VS Seeker. I am choosing to play one, two Scorched Earth. Supporter, it's supposed to be for Supporter War, as well as the fact that, you know, you can add consistency to your deck by being able to discard Fighting Energies. You have Super Rod, so it's not the biggest deal in the world if you discard Fighting Energies. Plus, the Super Rod helps you out if you... Um, if you want to put the energies back in the deck as well, something to keep in mind. Uh, one AZ to pick up our uh, Lele's and our, uh, what's it called, Unshaman, just so that they're not easy prizes for your opponent. We are going to be playing a Chorus here. Gets us because Gets us is too strong. Uh, I believe two Guzma, because Guzma is really important in this deck. We are playing Karen, uh, not Karen, Karina, dude, I miss this card. Grab a Fighting type Pokemon and an item from your deck. That's really, really powerful. Especially looking at this deck, um, you, you definitely want this card. I'm playing it two of. 
two ends because N is really strong. Uh, two Sycamore for draw support and uh, two Floatstones for the for the Garbodor. I do want to play more, but once again, deck space and I want to be able to, uh, I mean, like we can grab, I'm sorry, we can grab the, sp uh, the, the Floatstones with Karina if we need to. Two Muscle Bands. I like Muscle Bands over Choice Bands, especially in this deck uh, because you can do that 20 extra damage. You hit 50 guaranteed on everything. But if you have a strong energy, you hit 70, which knocks out the likes of Trubbish and whatnot. So if you have strong energy plus muscle band, you get a pretty hefty amount of damage off. Uh, of course, we have our two wide lens because it's pretty important in this deck. And we have a four and nine split of strong energy and basic energy. But that's going to be the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and get a couple of games. Now, hopefully these games are good. I will be back when I find one, though. <sighs> I have to remember to cut this out. <laughs> uh, I know it's early, but come on. It shouldn't take this long. All the men out I'm trying to get some sleep in after this. Alright, we found a game. Hello guys, we are back. A, a deck against dark Pokemon. Heh. I wonder if we can get if we can abuse this somehow. I guess we will find out. Let's see how the hands are, because that's the most important deck part in my opinion when it comes to these uh, expanded deck lists. I've been having some major issues having good hands with a lot of decks lately. I think it's just my luck. Um, for instance, I tried to record a Neuvern deck for you guys yesterday. Um, passed me by your boy Nelly. And uh, apparently he said he's never dead drew with that deck, but I played like five games and um, every game I had like three energies, a Getsis, uh, a Pokemon to lead with, but nothing else. So I was just sitting there waiting for something to happen. I know strong energies to start off, but no big deal. What we need to do this turn for sure though, because we have the magnifying glass, whatever, wide lens. All we need here is a strong energy. Actually, we technically don't even need a strong energy, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we belt on, never mind. <laughs> Does this mean we can or resistance? Oh, it is effective. So I don't want to attach this if he's playing more Eveltals. Right, so Eveltals is a weird matchup. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do against this. Oh, he's got the lasers. He's got the lasers. Alright, what am I gonna do? Hopefully wake up. Clean. Alright, so we can at least get some damage off. So we don't want to attach this here. Uh, ooh, that's gonna be kind of annoying. I guess we'll get another Buzzle and attach it there, just so we don't waste it. I don't know, I, I don't know what the rest of his deck looks like, so I kind of don't want to attach it to anybody. I'm not going to lie. Oh, the Buzzle's probably, oh, never mind. Um, do I attach it? Because I'm afraid, I, I want there to be Dark Eyes, right? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if you play Dark Eyes. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, attach it. You know what, we're going to have fun today. But I don't want to. I mean, regardless, I'm hitting this thing for we resistance no matter what I do. So I might as well. All right, we got a, we got a, we got this beauty right here. No strong energies, and we whiffed, which sucks. But it's not the end of the world. We can at least attack this turn. Um, yeah, we can at least attack this turn. No, we whiffed that. That sucks that we whiffed. Oh, we'll jet punch here. Hit him for ten. A measly ten damage. We can get muscle band next turn if we want to. That way we can hit him for thirty. Because I don't want to hit him for 10 every turn. That sounds kind of lame. Although I'm going to have to retreat this somehow. Luckily, it's only a 2 retreat cost. And we can always get Scramble Switch if we need to. He is playing Darkrai, which is why I want to play the thing. I want to be able to hit that thing for weakness. I can hit that thing for 30 damage. I hate that we whiffed a Fighting Energy, though. He got Burbank, which sucks. But that's a supporter for the turn, so... I guess he's just going to hit me for... I don't, think, I don't know if this knocks me out. I don't think it does. Yeah, 100 plus 50, that's not a knockout yet. So I have to switch this this turn. It might be time to abuse that scramble switch, boys and girls. Uh, it might be that time. It's really bad, though. Hmm. What do I do? I mean, I think I think I have to. Because I don't play Super Scoop Up. I don't have a way to get AZ right now. So. Hmm. Sure. 
grab Lando. Although I'm not too sure how useful Lando is going to be. Grab Enhanced Hammers. I mean, I'm going to want Scramble Switch for sure this turn. I just hate that we don't have anything else we can do. We have a couple. Of, we have a, quite a few energy surprises. Now that I'm looking at it, we only have one on the field and four in the deck, which means that we have three energies prized because we have nine, right? No, we have four energies prized. We have four energies and a strong energy prize. So we have five energies prized. That's kind of wild. That is kind of wild. All right, we'll grab Scramble Switch here. At least we can hit the Dark Ride for 60. This is not ideal though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, boom, take it. At least, at least I came in clutch, right? The first game already is something useful, right? Uh, do I bench this? I think I do. I don't. Obviously, he doesn't have any water type attackers. We'll go ahead and jet punch, and we'll hit that beautiful dark ride for 60 damage. Ooh, look at that damage. At least three attacks with this, and we can eventually get a knockout. If we get another fighting energy, I can attach this here. But I definitely want to AZ this soon. This man is stuck. I think we have to let him take a knockout now, though. I can't really do much about it. Unless I, like... I don't know. Oh, we got Lele. Do I AZ? If I AZ, I can't attack. If I had energies in my hand, I wouldn't mind doing this. Uh, if he takes two prizes, he might whiff. So there's that benefit. I guess I'll touch this here. And I'll Sycamore for now. I'll Sycamore the Garb, just because, you know, Garb. I don't want him to get a Lele and get out of the situation. See, ideally here, we get a uh, Floatstone Garbodor. And that way, even if he does, like, get a Lele or something, nice. Uh, we'll be alright. Now, the question is... Do I Ultra Ball, just to thin my hand, get a second Garbodor, and then Shaman? So I get more stuff, because I'm going to be kind of stuck afterwards. And I'm thinking that is the play. So I just dropped these two right here. Actually, I could have dropped Garb. I should have dropped Garb. Oh, that was such a bad play. I'll grab Garb, though. I'll have two Garbs out. Yay, Garbs. <laughs> All of the Garbs. And then we'll go ahead and drop Shaman. All right. So I should have dropped Garbodor instead of the uh, Max Elixir. That way I could have played the Max Elixir there. But then again, like I don't really want to attach Max Elixir. I don't want to attach anything to to, uh, to this thing over here. At least this is pretty decent. Yeah, I'm glad I made that play. Regardless, so we'll go ahead and he'll knock us out. But at the very least, he needs if he does get like Shaman or Ultra Ball or something to get out of the situation, he needs a little bit more than just that to knock me out. And then I get a knockout on this next turn. So plus we have a strong energy. What I could do is AZ here, but then I can't knock out the Dark Ray. So there's that as well. He did attach there for some reason. Not too sure as to why he did that. What's the retreat cost in this Pokemon? I mean, I could just Guzma instead. I kind of like the Guzma play a little bit more. But I can't Guzma and AZ at the same time. Hmm. Because I definitely want to take my knockout right now. So I think I will take my knockout right now. Uh, do I attach a strong energy? Just so I can hit this for a little bit more damage than 10. I think I do. Let me go ahead and do this now. So it's like a max elixir. Then again, I could just retreat this later with a Guzma. So I think I'm going to stick with that play instead, because I, I got to knock this thing out. So I'm going to go ahead and try to set up this, uh, I keep whiffing those elixirs, man. I mean, I get it, you only play 9 and all, but like, it's still kind of annoying. We'll go ahead and knock out the Dark Ray. Alright, there's another Fighting Energy and another Fighting Energy. Oh man, very surprised. I want to know what my last card is that isn't prizes. We know we have four Fighting Energies and a, oh, that's annoying. And a, what's it called, prized. Man, this man is just out here right now. So I just not attack next turn, right? But then he gets another two prizes. So what do I do? Oh, I AZ again. That's what I do. I guess that's what I do. Like, what else am I going to do here? I can't no, I can't attack him unless I knock him out. And I'll knock him out with Buzzwell, but that's it. So, um... I could Karina and get Field Blower, but then I can't retreat because I can get both Field Blower and... The thing so yikes uh, all right let's go ahead and just play az and 
Do I go into Garbodor just to like let him knock it out? Because if he, it's kind of bait, right? If he knocks me out, then he gets his abilities back, but um, I can just win next turn. So I have to go into something that can retreat next turn, which is why I'm making this play. But I can knock him out next turn. I can GX him for, I believe, 200 minus 20, which is a knockout for sure. He's on a Lysander. That sucks. That sucks really hard, actually. Is that a knockout? It's not a knockout. All right, well, we're going to have to just knock him out here, I think. And, like, take the double KO. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that, huh? That's really annoying. That's super duper annoying. All right, so I think we take the double. Oh, we just win, though. It's, it's not a big deal. Because we just attack and win the game. <clears throat> I was about to say, I always just, whatever. I wasn't thinking there, but we still win the game. Oh, Muscle Band was the last card prize. So there we go. Uh, it was a little bit awkward fighting a Pokemon with resistance. You don't really see fighting resistance nowadays, but we still won, and that's what matters. And I'm like, why you gotta make me do all this? Did I just shake his hand? <laughs> Regardless, that was pretty cool how we could have knocked out, how we knocked out that Dark Ryan three hits for sure. Helped clear out his field. This man was stuck with a capital st. We'll go ahead and get another game though. A lot of problems with switching. I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't be a problem if I just had Guzmas earlier. And, but at the same time, I had my Guzmas, but he had nothing else on the bench. So overall, it's eh, you know, still still thinking about the deck. Still not too sure how I like it. I think it's cool in theory because you see all these like Zorak decks and you can Oko their Zoras. You see all these, uh, you see all these. You know what I want IRL that I don't have is a Hue because Hue is like the secret tech, bro. All these Zorak players are out here with their uh, big hands, because they trade nonstop. Then you just hew them and make them discard everything. Then they have to be careful with all their with all their trading, because that because you can just hew them over and over again. Ooh, we're playing against fire, huh? How do we beat How do we beat Volcanion? How do we beat Volcanion? We can ability lock. We want an ability lock right away. All right. And then we have to play a few more Acerolas, Az kind of things. That way we can. Uh, you can, how many mulligans do we have? Okay, just one. And my opening hand? My oh, opening hand is not awful. Not the best though, by any means. I guess we can technically get Ultra Ball here. And like get a get a Shaman, that's what it's called. A Shaman. You can get a Shaman. Um, we have an opening Muscle Band, which is really nice. Sure, just throw all these cards down. Play Karina here. Grab another buzz, we'll keep it in the hand, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, we don't have another buzz, wall. all of our fighting Pokemon are gone. So we're just getting an item here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get Ultra Ball just so we can shame it up. All right, so my other buzz wall's prize. What else is prize? Let's go back to items. <laughs> all right, so we have all of our, we have all of our energies. Um, we have one end prize, so I don't think it's in our, in our hand. Um, uh, maybe it is? No, it's not. All right, so we have an end prize. We just played Garena, we have the Guzman in our hand. We have a Lele prize. Alright, cool. Let's grab this for now. I was gonna discard the fighting Pokemon, but can't do that apparently. So, we'll go ahead and get Le uh, Shaman here. Draw six, hopefully we can get some Trubbishes down. Ideally we get some Trubbishes down this turn, that's the goal. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> Nice, we can at least get a Trubbish down. We have Seeker, which is really handy. Um, so we're gonna have to drop the Muscle Band, I think. It's not great, but whatever. We'll grab the Trub. So we want to ability lock as soon as possible. We want to make him fear the Trubbish, so hopefully he knocks it out. And we'll just pass, I think, yeah. We can play N next turn, we can play Karina next turn, whatever we need next turn, we can just play it. It's no biggie there. Fortunately, we couldn't play Getsus this turn, because Getsus seems like a pretty decent play against these uh, fire decks. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still a little bit sick. He's got Field Blower, which is whatever, I guess. I mean, we lost our only two muscle bands, so we we don't get to play. Um, we don't get to have in... 
We don't get to have increased damage for the rest of the game is what I'm trying to say. And the power heaters are really annoying, so we definitely need to ability lock this turn. Especially since he seems a little bit stuck. We got two Seekers. We don't want to end, though. Mmm, that's a little bit annoying. Do we have to end? Oh, we don't even have... Oh, oh, I think we have to end. That sucks. I really don't want to end my opponent. Because they're kind of stuck here. Yeah, that's yikes. That's yikes. If I grab Karina, what does Karina do for me? It's not like I play Evo Soda, so I can't grab that. What item cards could I grab that could help me? There's nothing I could really think of. I'm just gonna play N. Whatever. I need I need Garbodor here, um, for sure. And I want to stop him from getting too set up, so I gotta play a little bit risky to pull it off. So hopefully this doesn't doesn't break me in the end. Okay, we got an elixir. E hammer does nothing. Bio blower does nothing. We didn't get what I wanted, but at the end it's fine. We'll be able to survive. I keep with ooh, what's the point of playing elixirs, bro? What's the point? What's the point? We'll jet punch, we'll put damage on the Terminator. I don't get it, guys. Somebody explain to me why I play elixirs, because I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, I definitely need Garbodor soon, man. I might have to just grab Sycamore. Cause look at this, this is getting annoying. He has two Volcanians down, now he's gonna be able to steam up his whole board and get set up and it's obnoxious. So we're gonna get some, we're gonna get Oko'd a few times. We need one of our Buzzwolves back for sure. So hopefully we can run into that. Hmm. I could also get this and knock out this fully set up Mon over here. I think I'm gonna make that play. Not Getsis, but Guzma. Assume my other Guzma's not prized, which would be really awkward if it was. I'm not gonna lie. But we're definitely gonna knock this out with our GX right now. Do we use our GX? I think we do, right? Sure. Let me grab a Guzma here. Good. We grab Guzma, we take two prizes. I need another Buzzwell, which is why I'm making this risky play. But I really need another Buzzwell. Yeah, I definitely want to knock that out. I don't think we use our GX though, do we? I mean, we kind of have to so we can attack again next turn. He's not going to knock me out next turn. Actually, he might knock me out next turn, which is terrifying. Never mind. So I think we do. No, we don't use our GX because if he, do, if we, if he does knock me out, then it doesn't matter. We hit him for enough for a knockout, I think, because we hit 160, 190. Yeah, we don't have the GX then. Um, yep, we'll just go ahead and hit this man up with a knuckle impact. Hopefully, we can get a buzzle off the prizes here because we really need one. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we got a Lele as well. It's not bad at all. If he takes a knockout, we can get another supporter. Probably get Sycamore just, or maybe an N. I'm not too sure yet. I need something though. I need to get Garbodor out because I need to stop him from abusing his abilities. We haven't got Garbodor yet. Which is super awkward. Is it risky? We'll be able to set up two of his Volcanians here. So I need more ways to play Guzma. So maybe I up the Guzma count to three. Or maybe I should land some Max Elixirs. That'd be really dope. <laughs> uh, hopefully he doesn't steam up twice. Actually, he only needs to steam up once, huh? No, he needs to steam up twice unless he has a belt. Which I don't know if they play belts in uh, this format. There's the E hammer. So he doesn't knock me out here, I think, or else he wouldn't be playing that. Oh, he does knock me out, so I, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I'll take the wasted E hammer every day. All right, so we can E hammer ourselves. Slow my opponent down a little bit. Uh, okay, cool. We have another Guzma potentially, although I don't think I'm gonna be playing that this turn. We'll go ahead and E hammer our opponent. Uh, what am I doing this turn? Let's find that. Let's find that out right now. Uh, we can Karina and or Guzma. Which one of those plays sounds interesting? Not really any of them, honestly. I guess I could Guzma stall, but I need a fighting energy first. So I guess we're not going to do that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to Sycamore. It's not ideal, but 
I could Colrus actually. Yeah, then I'm gonna Colrus so I can preserve my cards in my hand. Yeah, we're gonna Colrus here. 100%, bro. We're gonna Colrus. Cause that gets me eight cards, right? That's more than, it's more than Sycamore does, but we're gonna shuffle our cards back in. It's not the best cause I wanted to uh, get rid of the, get rid of the uh, Getsis in hand, but it's not the end of the world either. Okay. We got Garbodor finally. Do I play it? I do play it. Can I land this? Most likely not, but let's try it. Oh yay, we landed. That's something new. The issue with me right now is that, hmm, I could attack with Landorus and just continuously uh, set up Buzzwole to get some K KOs. That seems like a plan to me, maybe. I don't want to put down Scorched Earth because he's going to abuse it. So now we have Ability Lock. We have, we have VS Seeker in hand, so we're kind of set there. So yeah, I think I'm going to make that play. We'll go ahead and just keep sniping a little bit, put things in range of Knuckle Impact. Uh, we'll attack you since you're the most setup. Because uh, if I can get like another Max Luxor this turn somehow and land it, I can Guzma the Getsis, right? So I just have the top deck. Come on, top decks. I believe in the heart of the Lando, all right? Landorus T is the biggest threat in Pokemon history. Taking up 50% of singles format. And every that means you see half every other game you'll see a lander is in your singles format team all right this is just a fact landers is a threat and um in vgc it's even more of a threat please give me a max luxor how many have i played so far i don't even want to look at my hand right now i played two give me one right now you know what that works as long as i get a fighting energy <laughs> it actually works very nicely as long as i get a fighting energy although i uh, i don't want to mm, it kind of works he didn't get a steam up there there that turn so what I would need, uh, man, I need a top deck of fighting energy and like a VS Seeker at the same time, bro. Okay, strong energy is cool. But then he's going to attack me and potentially knock me out, which is where things are less cool. Um, Just in case. I can't Guzma this turn. So I think I just play Karina and try to get an item that's useful, maybe. That's, that is an option. So I don't have anything else I can do. Sure, let's do that. Because chances are he's not going to... I'm going to grab Seeker. Just so I can Guzma the following turn. Yeah. I want to take Knockouts when I can. We'll see if he Sycamores me. I don't want to attach this yet because if he does knock this out, I can at least attach it here. Uh, I want to put damage on everything, specifically Terminator. Terminator is the biggest threat to me. Because Terminator can actually knock me out with one Steam Up while these need more choice bands, more Steam Ups than, uh, than the Terminator does. So let's see if we can take advantage of this somehow. Because I can knock that out later. In fact, I can knock it out with one more muscle impact no matter where it is on the board. But this can Guzma. He didn't sick him. He didn't end me. So now we have a decent play coming up. Who do we not? I think we definitely knock out the Tornado. I think. I don't think we have much of a choice there. I think we 100% knock out the Tornado this turn. So we got a scramble switch into a. Oh man, now I wish I attached last turn. No, that was almost a misplay. Okay, hold up. Sorry, my mouse got all weird. Um. We can Guzman now and then scramble switch. No, we'll just uh, we'll scramble switch now. Actually, hold on. If I Guzma, switch back in the okay. I'm just I'm just overthinking things. I'm really tired. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. You guys are all bullying me, and I can hear it in your voice. Um, I think we attack with a GX Tech this game this turn. Um, yes, we Guzma this. We go into you. Um, we switch back. Uh, we scramble switch. There's a Pokemon. Oh, you can be my active. You can have my energy. Um, I'm gonna play scramble switch now. I, I was. It was like it was such like a mad play to me, and now I'm super happy I'm playing it. We'll go ahead and do that now. 
So we get another knockout, and if we get lucky, we can get another strong energy or something, and then win the game by attacking anything else. Because this is damage on it already, which means it has two 10 HP left. Maybe? Actually, we only hit one. Right now, we're only hitting one. Actually, we do hit 200 next turn. He needs double steam up, though, which is very easy, I guess, And to be fair. I would say this is probably our worst matchup, huh? Other than, like, Garbodor decks, which could also prove to be a bad matchup. Um... But at least with Garbodor decks, we can potentially Oko their Trubbish's early game. We can't exactly Oko Volcanion's early game. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining the Aura Army, Brandon. Oh, that's really awkward. So he's going to turn off. Oh, he can't even steam up because of Garbodor. Duh. I forgot about that. Uh, well, anyways, with him not doing that, don't we just win? Because we hit 180 with Knuckle Impact, right? So that's just game. Oh yeah, dope. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, like I said, stop bullying me. I'm tired. He can't steam up. Well, you know, at the same time, I was considering the fact that he was going to play Field Blower at any given moment, and that's what terrified me. But I just went with a knuckle impact, right? I hit for 180, 160, 1... Yeah, okay, that's game. GG. Well played. There we go. Shout out to this deck, bro. And maybe it's not as bad of a matchup as I thought, as long as you can set up the Garbodor. All right, so dude, this is this has been this has been going along swimmingly. I'm very happy I made the... Uh, I made the scramble switch play because that is that is two games in a row now it's came in clutch bro two games in a row do i play another game uh, i've been recording for 30 minutes mm, probably not just because i have stuff to do I have, I have an exam tomorrow like a final tomorrow that i gotta study for so we are actually gonna cut, cut the video short short it has been a minute since i've uploaded for you guys i'm still playing a few a few expanded decks here and there i might play noivern tomorrow as long as noivern doesn't make me want to hate everything but there's a couple changes I want to make. I definitely want more Guzmas and I want more Sycamores for sure. Just because you want to play those as much as possible. The question... Ooh, excuse me. The question is, I don't know what to cut. I like everything. I guess you could cut the Getsus, but like, the Getsus is good, bro. <laughs> You've seen... I know we've all experienced losing the Getsus turn one. And that's what we want. That's what we want to expand. So quick games, bro. So maybe... Maybe we cut the Getsus. Uh, I don't like cutting Lele's or the Shaman, so I don't want to cut those. E-Hammers are too good, especially with all the Gardevoir and Expanded right now, so we want to keep the E-Hammers. Not to mention it helps in your in, in your Zoark matchup too. So, Scorched Earth is definitely a thing I could probably cut. Uh, I also want Ace Roll, though. I mean, this is what I mean. Like, what, what are you going to cut? You can't cut Field Blur, because Belts are kind of annoying. You got to keep your Max Luxers. You could completely trash the Max Luxer to play. And then uh, you're going to completely trash the Max Elixir idea. But if you do, you're putting yourself really weak to a faster deck than you. Which is a problem, because it's expanded. And most decks are faster than you. <laughs> so, I think I'd probably keep it like this and just keep playing over and over again until I figure out what I want to trash. Uh, but the first thing I could think of is maybe Scorched Earth. Just because, like, you're already decently consistent. So, I could see myself trashing Scorched Earth. We'll see, though. Uh, future games, I'll probably be playing this deck a little bit more on stream tonight. But regardless, drop a like if you have not already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Let me know what decks you want to see me play in the future. Remember, I have a Discord, and you can always comment on the on the description a paste bin of your deck list. I've been playing deck lists that people have been passing me recently, and it's been a lot of fun. It's nice to bring back like that Fan Deck Friday kind of aspect, but like we'll just do it whenever I feel like it, honestly. So if you guys want me to play your deck list on the channel, whatever it is, just let me know and I can look into it and we can try to work something out. Drop a like if you haven't already. It's always really appreciated. We're, seriously, let's try to hit this video. If we can get this video to 40, 40 likes, then I can get another video up for you guys tomorrow. So let's try to hit 40 likes, guys, if you can. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace.